Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it is kind of the follow on from, I don't know when I'll have posted it, but last week's video in LA. We ended up in San Diego last night and I didn't end up filming anything because we didn't do anything. But this morning we had the most chaotic start to the day in that we went down to the parking below our Airbnb, essentially. And one of the Jeeps was gone. So one of the Jeeps had been towed to like a towing place, wherever they end up, which wasn't ideal. There was a $290 release fee as well. So really just not the start we needed, especially given that the first, I'd say 20 minutes that we realized the, the Jeep was gone, we couldn't like find it. Like the towing company couldn't find it. We couldn't find it. They said, you need to call the police. It might be stolen. It was just honestly a nightmare. We're en route now to Palm Springs and we're going to take you with us. I think it's quite a scenic route as well, but I'm really excited. I feel like this is going to be a much more, I don't want to say interesting vlog to the LA one, but it's going to be a lot more kind of like natural and different. different. As always, if you haven't already, please do subscribe down below as we've got the Coachella vlogs to come. We've got the Vegas vlog to come and then we're going back to LA before flying home. But let's just crack on with the video. Okay, so we just arrived to Weatherly. That's the menu. What Ooh. would you like to drink? <laughs> come to the most gorgeous restaurant ever. It's called Waverly and it's in Cardiff, but in California. It's literally the most gorgeous, like Instagrammable aesthetic location ever. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Victor's in Oxford or Manchester, but it's kind of like a similar vibe, but just on the beach. I'm gonna get myself a big juicy glass of wine and just try and enjoy my lunch now. <laughs> We just had a really yummy dinner, well lunch, and now we've come down near Santa Fe to have a look at the surfers and it's really pretty. It's kind of cloudy but the houses are really cute and then the water's obviously just over there. Two little surfers over there. Empty vlog. Oh, it's all zoomed in. Right, so we're heading direction Palm Springs now, but we're actually going to go via a shopping outlet called Cabazon. 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 What is there? Is it all like designer stuff? Yep. Like Prada, Gucci, Dior. Very nice. And outlets. So we're going to do that. Obviously, you'll have just seen we went to see the surfers. Going to get on the road. It's about two and a half hours away now. So I'm going to edit my LA vlog from before because I've still not done that. <laughs> Oh, he's living, he's living. God knows what Tom's talking about. Sorry. <laughs> and I will catch you when we get to the shopping centre because I have a feeling that is going to be fun. I can buy myself flowers. Buy my name in the sand. Talk to myself for hours. Little flower stuff. It's so pretty. If I ever. Made you angry, girl. Just know that it get better. Refreshing. They say time heals. She can't see her life without. Oh my God! We've just got to a uh, Palm Springs hotel. Good afternoon everyone. So we are in Palm Springs today, as you probably saw yesterday. And I actually had no camera, no no battery on my camera yesterday when we went out for dinner, which was so annoying because we went to the most gorgeous little place. Today, essentially, we're just gonna chill around Palm Springs. I think we're gonna do as much visiting as we possibly can before we head off to Coachella tomorrow, which is super exciting. But we're just in the kind of city centre right now and there's loads of little shops and stuff that we can look in and I think we might grab something to eat too but it's stunning like there's palm trees everywhere and it's proper lived up to expectations she got my heartbeat racing they say time heals don't go build we have picked up a little Starbucks as we seem to be doing it at every single place right now I actually wanted to try one of the Palm Springs like exclusive drinks, which is this one here. And then Tom picked up a mango and dragon fruit lemonade. And what are you eating? Impossible breakfast. And then of course I just got a cookie. And we're sat eating it on a really cute rose. Can't find a glossy foundation that I like. Everything's too heavy or wet. Hi friends, so I was hesitating between buying a dress from free people just for coachella but then i thought like am i really gonna pay 230 dollars for a dress that i'm probably only gonna wear once and then sell and in the end i didn't 
but I did do a bit of shopping in Sephora, so I'll show you that when we get in the car. Hat, hat, hat. But now we're going to a little park. Is it a park that's got loads of palm trees in? It's like a forest. Palm Canyon. Palm Canyon. Right, I feel like I'm a little bit on the wall. I went into Sephora because I wanted to buy like a more lightweight foundation because the one that I've used literally for the whole of my life is the L'Oreal Infallible one. And whilst I love it, it's very, not heavy looking, but like it's very full coverage and it doesn't look super like skin-like. I wanted to pick up one that wasn't and this is the NARS one, I can't remember what it's called. The NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. I've seen loads of people talk about it on TikTok and when I told the people in Sephora what I wanted, this is the one that they recommended, so we'll see. But it's $50, that's the only thing. And then I also picked up some dry shampoo because I'm not gonna lie, for Coachella. I'm planning on washing my hair tomorrow morning before we go and then dry shampooing it for the whole weekend. Otherwise, it's gonna be a nightmare. Like, there's no hair dryers or, or anything. And I can't be bothered to deal with an absolute bird's nest, and I think that's just the easiest way to do it. So I picked up this Amica one. This was $30. So whilst I didn't end up buying the free people dress, I still ended up spending a lot of money, which is not ideal. But yeah, as I say, we're now headed to this palm tree forest, which is 20 minutes away. But everything you claim to be, I took you to the club and you hugged on somebody that I know and I know them type of hugs say So we've come to this Palm Springs Canyon. We were not expecting it to be this beautiful It is unbelievable I'm just walking down into it now and obviously there's so much less wind Like Tom literally just found this place on TikTok like the city itself was beautiful enough as it is and now We're in this little Paradise. I think this is what they talk about when they say there's oases in the desert because wow. I never brought it up. I'm down these days. Down to do better because you know I've done enough. You should lay it down. We'll talk about it when you are. But she don't want to go to sleep. She angry. Maybe she's been noticing he ain't me. We're just headed back down now from the National Park. It was literally the most beautiful, one of the most neat, beautiful National Parks I've ever seen in my life. But we're approaching now the rock thing that I tried to show you on the way in that we have to squeeze through. I'm actually gonna get out of the car fully to show you because it's quite impressive. The car just about fits. Like you probably couldn't come in a much bigger car because you literally would hit it. I'm quite glad it's not me driving. Don't want no new, new faces. She got my heartbeat racing. They say time heals. Don't go build no life with. We're just gonna keep stopping all the way down at the cute like little viewpoints that we find. This is one here with an abandoned shelter. And then in here, you can see all the way into Palm Springs in the valley. It's all the way in there. And I don't wanna go unless you make me. Down on my knees, open We've got back to Palm Springs now, and I think we're just gonna do a little bit of a tour and get some food because we've not eaten, eaten anything, and I'm starving. You starving? Yes, I am. <laughs> we drove around a little bit more. I hate you so much. That's gone all over me and all over the car. <laughs> Are you proud of yourself? <laughs> Let's go and get this child some food because he's misbehaving. So we just come and sat down in Central, oh, Central Palm Springs again and picked up a little bit of food and a couple of drinks. I've just got a coconut or something and Tom's got a gin and tonic obviously. But we're waiting for our food to arrive now. I've ordered some like crispy potato tarts which would be yummy. And Tom's ordered some tuna tacos. Very strong. Oh my god look how yummy. We stopped off for that yummy food that you will have just seen and we're headed back to the hotel now because the sun's going down. It's got a little bit cooler and I kind of feel like going in the pool on the jacuzzi. We've not used that at all yet. Tom's just gone into the service station to buy some cigarettes and I want to drive home so I'm going to climb over. <laughs> Robbed his car. We've only got one more night in Palm Springs and then tomorrow morning we head to Coachella where we're going to be sleeping in the tent above this the whole time. So that's going to be interesting. Tom's about to see that I've stolen the car. <laughs> <laughs> I can drive myself, Tom. Whoa. Whoa. See, I'm such a good parker. Crash. No, no, the, the other side. There's loads of space for both sides now. Do you think cool? Babe, it's fine. I'm it's in the car. Come, sir. Okay, we'll sort it out, please. 
We have literally just got to Coachella now. It's the Thursday, so it's the camping check-in day. There is a big fat queue and like a screening tent, loads of security. So that's what we're doing today. And then we get the first day to kind of set up, things like that. This is where we're queuing up at the moment. 